last video we spoke a little bit about um, audio patch and being able to assign a cue to a, a specific cue output, right? Whether that's the built-in audio or whether it's going to be an external sound card. And so let's talk a little bit now about this external sound card. In the professional version of um, QLab, you have multiple outputs available, right? So in addition to just in our in our default version, we just have stereo left and stereo right. But in our sound card, I have stereo left and stereo right, and then I also have subwoofer left, subwoofer right, a rear speaker, and then a floating speaker. And all of these different outputs now can be controlled. But again, that only comes as if you buy the license to have the full program, which I do. Now, there is, uh, if, if I am adding a cue, right, I, I, I'm going to want all of these here. Let's just see if I can add a cue, right? Let's just add this and see if I've, let's just add Johnny Cash. Escape, right? Johnny Cash. Oh, that's an assignment. That's not song. Uh, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash. Here we go. One, right? We'll add Johnny Cash. Right, and so let's change that. See, now I've added that cue, and I want it to play through my um, sound card. And you'll see that it has all these, um, all the faders are now active, but I haven't routed them anywhere. In order to route them, I'm going to need to assign 0 dB to the stereo left subwoofer. Remember, input one is stereo left, stereo right, and that's coming from the song. And then these are the outputs, speaker left, speaker right, subwoofer left, so we want to connect it to input left. The next one, number four, is subwoofer right, which wants to also be connected to input stereo right. Now my rear speaker wants to have both left and right channels um, to play to it, and my floating speaker wants to have the left and the right. The rest of these I don't need to worry about, right? So if I were to turn all, I can turn all of these down, and I know, I know from experience that this studio is loud, right? So I'm going to turn this down to minus 20 dB, and I don't think I want any of the rear speaker and my subwoofers are overachievers, maybe a 10 dB, minus 10 dB, and minus 10 dB. And now when I hit play, but even that's pretty loud, right? So I'll hit escape, you know, and maybe I need to make this even uh, more quiet, 25 dB, right? And let's select Johnny Cash. It's better. Right, but you can see I had to make a lot of adjustments once I got that into this queue. There's a way that we can build a template that has all of this information already included. Right? Again, if I go into my settings, right, and now I go down to where it says queue template. And inside of queue template, I have a whole lot of options about what I can what kind of cues I can make a template for. And I'm going to want to make a template for audio, right? And this is just going to be for every new cue that I bring in, that it has the same basic volume and routing information. And that way, I can work on the same uh, format for everything that I'm doing. So let's go into my built-in, right? We'll change this, and we'll select our sound card, which gives us all of our parameters here. Now our routing information, subwoofer left wants to receive information from stereo left. Subwoofer right wants to receive information from stereo right. Our rear speaker is going to receive both left and right channels, and our floating speaker is going to want to do the same. Now, I will say, if we scroll down a little bit, these other zeros that are down here, this other routing information, we want to get rid of that. So I just select it, delete, delete, 
I'll even delete a few more just so that they're not there. We have 10 of them, right? Because there's no information there and you're just routing it redundantly and we don't need to do that, right? So what we've done is we've made a queue template with our sound card and with the appropriate routing. Left, right, left, right, left and right, left and right. Now, the other thing that we had were some volume changes, right, or volume settings. We'll turn our rear speaker off, our floating speaker off, our subs at minus 10, right, this sub at minus 10, and I think we decided that our main should be at minus 25. We might even make it minus 30, and let's see how we do, right? So now what we've done is establish a Q template. Let's see what happens if I were to drag in. Let's see if we have another one here. Heartbeat, My Culture, Milk Carton Kids. Um, uh, let's see what this one does, right? Let's go ahead and drag Pink Floyd in. So I just drug in Pink Floyd, and if you'll look, you'll see that my routing information came automatically with this new queue. It also set all of my routing for that new um, output patch is already preset at the bottom, left, right, left, right, left and right, left and right, as well as my rear speaker and floating speakers are out, my subs are at minus 10 and my mains. Let's see. We should be making sound. It's a little bit there. It's a heartbeat. I hear that those subwoofers, right? Um, so that's a little bit about routing. Um, and how to, let's see if we can get a, let's, here, let's back up. Let's go back and look at Johnny Cash, right? If I were to go in and now say, there's an option here to say set default levels, it pulls those levels and all of the routing information from our um, default queue. So now when I play Johnny Cash, these are all the default levels for everything. Right? The same thing, if I go into Grace Potter, Grace Potter had all of this stuff set this way, and if I say set default levels, it's gonna play that, right? So it's a, it's a way that we can save a whole bunch of time by establishing what our base levels are gonna be um, for every new queue that we import. And that's a little bit about um, um, queue templates.